Good evening. I'm Thomas Roberts in tonight for Lester. In a campaign season at times full of bizarre twists and turns, tonight may be one of the strangest developments yet, centering on a 25 year old audio tape. On it, a man claiming to represent Donald Trump, talking to a People magazine reporter, bragging about the billionaire's business dealings and dating life with famous women. But was it actually Trump himself? The Washington Post first released the audio, and this morning Trump emphatically denied it was his voice on the Today Show. But it turns out he's spoken about it before and given a very different answer. We get new details tonight from NBC News senior investigative correspondent Cynthia McFadden. Tonight, Donald Trump raising eyebrows again. I don't think it was me. It doesn't sound like me. The controversy not about something he said, but about something he claims he did not say. Is it you? No, I don't think it, uh, I don't know anything about it. I have many, many people that are trying to imitate my voice, and uh, you can imagine that. And this sounds like one of the scams, one of the many scams. It doesn't sound like me. At issue, whether a man claiming to be Donald Trump's publicist was actually Donald Trump himself. The audio tape posted this morning by the Washington Post. What's your name again? John Miller. What is your position? Well, I'm sort of handling PR because you get so much of it. It's absolutely Donald Trump. No doubt in your mind. There's no doubt in my mind. The audio tape was recorded in 1991 by then People magazine reporter Sue Carswell. She says she called Mr. Trump initially to ask about his relationship with Marla Maples. Instead, she got Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller knew a lot about Mr. Trump's personal life. He's living with Marla and he's got three other girlfriends. Including French fashion model Carla Bruni, who would later become first lady of France. She dropped me Jack for Donald and that's where it is right now. At the time, Carswell suspected John Miller was in fact Trump himself. And she says Marla Maples confirmed it. I called Marla and played it for her and she just started to cry. In fact, that's the story people published at the time. It's the same thing Carswell told Entertainment Tonight back then. She started to cry. So she was absolutely devastated. A few weeks later, Trump, she says, called her and apologized for pretending to be John Miller. He told me that he was sorry that, you know, he had done this and it was at Marla's expense. People published his apology for pretending to be Mr. Miller soon after. I'm very sorry, Donald Trump said. So does the denial of a prank Donald Trump is alleged to have played long ago reveal anything important about Trump, the presidential candidate? Why is this important? Well, it's one thing to punk me about his love life, but to punk the nation is another thing. We asked the Trump campaign if they would introduce us to Mr. Miller. No reply to that, though they did say once again, the voice heard on the recording was, quote, a bad imitation. No explanation why someone who sounded a lot like Donald Trump would call a reporter pretending to be someone named John Miller. Thomas? It's a very good question, Cynthia. Let's talk about your tax return. Under new pressure from the Clinton campaign, Secretary Clinton talking about that the last couple of days. I just have a bottom line question for you. Yes or no, do you believe voters have a right to see your tax returns before they make a final decision? I don't think they do, but I, I do say this. Uh, I will really gladly give them. They're not going to learn anything, but it's under routine audit. When the audit ends, I'm going to present them. That should be before the election. I hope it's before the election. But when the audit ends, I've had even journalists say that, no, nobody should give until audits are over. I've had journalists say that. So I think uh, there's no, uh, I, I sort of have to laugh when Clinton says it. Mrs. Clinton said that uh, I should give my tax returns. What about all the missing emails that she's got? When is she going to give the missing emails or her Goldman Sachs speeches? When is she going to give that? Very, very great hypocrite. But. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I want to give it as soon as possible. As soon as the audit ends, I'll give it. I've been under audit. Every but year they audit me. I have wealthy friends that never get audited. I get audited every but single as year. You know, as you know, Mr. Trump, the, the audit is, is no excuse. The IRS has made it very clear that an audit is not a bar to public release. It is entirely your choice. President Nixon, Richard Nixon, released his tax returns even though he was under audit. And when you were seeking a casino license in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, you released the returns to the state officials even though you were under audit. Uh, I so, am under audit now, and as soon as the audit ends, I'll release my returns. It's a very simple thing. Sir, if, you look at, if you look at many others, many others feel the same way. And almost every lawyer will tell you the same thing. When you're under audit, you finish the audit before you release. I have no problem. And it should be, and I hope it's before the election. But, sir, if you were willing to and release... And, by the way, people are going to learn nothing. You know, I put in financials, 100 pages worth of financials, 
that show that I built a company that's worth more than $10 billion. It shows cash. It shows cash flows. It shows everything. You learn very little from tax returns. But nevertheless, when the audit is complete, I will release. I have no problem with it. A couple of follow-ups to that, though. If you were willing to release your tax returns to get a casino license, why shouldn't voters see them before they make you commander-in-chief? Well, because at the time it didn't make any difference to me. Now it does. If you take a look at the picture that uh, we sent you where the tax returns are probably 10 feet high when you stack them on top and linked and very complex. I built a massive business and I want to make sure that everything's perfect. It's a routine audit. I want to get through the audit first and that's what I'll do. There have been many presidents that have not shown their tax returns. Uh, actually, every single nominee since 1976 has released right, their tax but before returns. Before 1976, most people didn't do it. I mean, it used to be a secret thing. I don't want it to be secret, but I do want the audit to get finished. Bef before that, Richard Nixon released his returns, as I said, even though they were under oath. But to get to your point, on the one hand, you show that stack of tax returns. On the other hand, you say that people can't learn anything from them. They can actually learn quite a lot. They can learn your sources of income. They can learn whether you have any foreign sources of income or whether you have any Swiss bank accounts or other offshore accounts. Do you? I'll tell you right now, I do not. And I don't have Swiss bank accounts. I don't have offshore uh, I really have a very, very clean company, and believe me, if I didn't, it would have been reported by uh, 200 groups, because there's nobody that has more reporting or more scrutiny than I have. Uh, I've given my financials, they're extraordinary, uh, the, and we would have read if they weren't, but believe me, when I released my financials, George, and we sent them down to federal elections, uh, there was a feeding frenzy by the media. And they reported, wow, that is a great company. And I have built a great, great company. And by the way, when you look at numbers, when you look at incomes, when you look at all of the things or most of the things that you talked about, that's reported on the financials. It's not reported on the financials. What the financials don't show also is your tax rate. They don't show whether you paid a low tax oh, well, rate or no tax rate. I find very hard rates. to pay as little tax as possible. And I've, I've said that for the last two years I fight very hard because this country wastes our money they take our tax money and they throw it down the drain they spend four trillion dollars in the Middle East and we can't fix a road or a bridge and I fight very hard I consider it an expense because frankly our country doesn't know what they're doing with our money or our tax money and that's part of the problem so I fight very hard to pay as little tax as possible what is your tax rate uh, it's none of your business. You'll see it when I release. But I fight very hard to pay as little tax as possible. You know, we've talked about this several times over the last several years. I first asked you about this in 2011, and you said you would release your tax returns then. You were thinking of running for president when President Obama releases his birth certificate. He did. Then you said you would release your tax returns when Secretary Clinton released her email. She has turned over all the emails in her possession. She didn't turn over all. There's plenty missing. I read yesterday where there are a lot of emails missing. Don't I know she's a good friend of yours, and I know you worked for him, and you didn't uh, reveal it. But, uh, you know, she did not turn over her emails. There are a lot of emails missing. There were emails from her staffers missing. She turned over the emails she has. There emails missing all over the place. The, the whole thing is a scam. There are emails missing all over the place. But you have also said then that you were just going through all of the returns and you released them as soon as you went through them. Now you're throwing up the audit. There were, so I never said that at all. I said to you that I will release them upon the completion of the audit like anybody else. Uh, I was interviewed last night or the other night by Greta Van Susteren, who's a lawyer. She said, I happen to agree with you. Until the audit is complete, you shouldn't release them. Mr. Trump, thanks very much for your uh, time. Thank this you morning. very much.